All right, uh, welcome back to uh, Phantom Works Fridays. Um, we're uh, doing a, a, a quick presentation on a project, and I know you guys are gonna go, all right, you guys build Corvettes, we get it. But this one is unique. Um, it is the first time we've taken on a project quite like this. So uh, from here, you're gonna see that you've got uh, a 65 Roadster body. You've got uh, one of our um, hand-built 63 split window tops on it. But that's not what makes this car unique. What makes it unique is a, is a quick story. A man came into the shop about a month ago and he said, uh, I need to have you fix up my 65 Roadster that you guys worked on 10 years ago. And so I said, sure, bring it on in. And then the day it came in, Audrey walked into my office. I thought she'd seen a ghost and she said, do you have any idea what this car looks like today? And I said, no. We walked out and unfortunately the car, the owner lost his garage space and it had to park the car out in the weather. Um, probably on some other videos you may have seen some of this, but the car was filled with termites, ants, uh, bugs that I don't even know what they are. I mean, I don't mean dozens or hundreds, thousands and thousands of bugs were residing in the car. And, and so it was actually a little spooky to work on. And, and so I, I started looking at the extensive amount of damage that had been done from the environment over the previous roughly 10 years. And, and he said, what are we looking at? I said, 50 to start, to, to go through steering, suspension, brakes, wheels, tires, engine. I said, that's 50 to start. And he said, I, I, I can't do it. I'll just sell the car. And when he said those words, I went, well, wait a second here. How much do you want for it? We had this kind of a fun thought, and that was, why don't we build it for something that we believe in? And right now, there's a couple charities we're looking at, and we're already working with those charities. Um, one deals with uh, abused women, and one deals with uh, the sex trafficking of children. And I find them both causes. Uh, the, the fact that we actually have to discuss um, trafficking of children in our country is something that I, I find hard to believe. And, and when it comes to abused women, I, I don't think there's anything a man can do worse, really, than, than hit a woman, beat on a woman. It's just a horrible thing to do. So we're, we're working with a couple charities right now um, and some really cool stuff that's going to come up. And when I told the guys what we were going to do with the car then, they all got very excited. And so um, maybe in a little bit, I'll bring you on a different day into the uh, mechanical room and I'll show you what Davey's putting together for the bottom of this car. As you can see, it's on a dolly. Um, so even though it's actually on a Corvette chassis, this is just a spare Corvette chassis we had lying around. The best news on this car was that the body, um, the entire uh, tail end of this car has never been in an accident. The fenders are virtually perfect. The doors were about perfect. Now, when I say perfect, let me make sure. If you saw them, you'd probably run screaming. I don't care about cracked paint and issues and grime and filth and little things. I'm talking about the fundamental structure of the fiberglass. Now, Will, you've been on this car since day one. You stripped this car. How many layers of paint were on this car? About three layers. Come on back in. I don't want to make... Uh, okay, so I agree. There's about three layers of paint. How many accident damage problems did you find on this car? Not many, not much. Well, what did you find? Where was really the only body filler on the car? The front. By the headlights. Right here. Yep. So we, we stripped this car down, and I'm expecting to find what I normally find on every C2 Roadster, right. and that is it's crunched here, it's crunched here, it's crunched there. You know, mostly, almost everyone you'll find, um, the entire front end's been hit multiple times because people drove these cars fast, and what happens when you drive fast? You wreck them. Yeah, crash fast, right? Yep. So, so rarely do you find a C2 that hasn't been crashed in the front, and ironically, a lot of them get crunched in the back, and I'm wondering if people are just looking at them and they're not paying attention and they rear end them. So when you stripped this car, was it, that a pretty cool day? Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it, it was exciting. It was, it was nice watching this, this, cause what did the paint look like when we started stripping it? It was like an orange color. But did it look good? Did, was the paint in nice shape at all? Oh, yeah, not really. There's, I thought that there was a lot of I mean, peeling, the clear coated peeling. The clear coat, off. yes, yes, yeah. it was coming so, off. So the car, you would look at it and go, oh my God, no. Right. 
But once you started sanding into it and peeling off the layers of paint, you get down to the glass right. and it was like, I, I, you could almost hear the music, oh! Yeah, I, I, and that's the best voice I got, sorry folks. So, so this beautiful car emerged from it, right. and once that happened, Davey gets involved and goes, hey, let's do this really cool suspension system. And of course, folks, this car is not going back original. It's gonna get a completely custom hand-stitched deer hide interior. Um, it's getting an LS, it's getting paddle shift, it's getting um, independent suspension coilovers all the way around it. It's getting 13 inch brakes. Um, this car is gonna leave out of here with all of the trimmings. Now, what color was it gonna be? Do you remember what color I told you it was gonna be originally? Yellow. Yellow! And, 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 and it's a gorgeous, in fact, I'll, let, let me pull up why as, as we're doing this, why I wanted to paint it yellow, because I found a picture on the internet I fell in love with, but what did everybody say about yellow? No. They yeah, everybody like it. started yelling at me. And they said, you know, you're crazy. You can't paint the car yellow. And then my son, apparently in the newest Batman movie, do you know what the new Batman Bruce Wayne drives for his car? A 64. A 63 split window 63. coupe. And so it's black on black. And he goes, Dad, you got to do it in black. So I looked at it and said, all right, that does look pretty cool. And so I agreed to do it in black, even though I still think yellow. So there's my, there's my view of what this car would look like in yellow. Now, I love it. For, for those of you watching, let me know what you think about, um, you know, a car that looks like that. But obviously this is a Roadster. When he showed me the split window coupe, I said, wait a second, we've got the roofs hanging in the shop. So we pulled down one of the roofs that I had um, designed and built for a different car. Um, and this is actually, I don't know if you realize that this roof weighs twice as much as any other roof we ever built. I put all sorts of steel structure in it. I think you could roll the car over on this roof and it would support it. So we grabbed this roof. We just, we obviously haven't sanded it down. We haven't done any of the fit work yet. It's so, so like right now you could put Ah, uh, there's probably an eighth of an inch underneath the top. When we get done with it, there will be zero of an inch under this. It will fit exactly onto the car. Um, what do we have to do to the hinges on this? You remember? I know you weren't part of it, but do you remember what, what was wrong with the car? They weren't lining up. Yeah, so, so Corvette's really interesting. When, when you close the door on the Corvette, they, they, you shim them and you can shim the door out of the car. Were there any shims on the hinges? No. No, and was the door in or out of the car? Out. It was already out. So we had a problem. The door was actually standing proud of the car by a full eighth of an inch, and yet there were no shims. So we had to go through and do some custom mods on the hinges. That's what we're in the process of doing now. We're gonna test fit our doors soon, and we're hoping the doors go all the way in and line up perfectly, because when this car gets painted black, I want it to look like a piece of obsidian from the front to the back with an absolutely perfect reflection, and I don't want a door standing an eighth of an inch proud. Now, do you think this car, when it was delivered brand new in 65, was standing proud? Do you think it was? Do you think the door stuck out from the car? No. You don't? I'll think guarantee it you it was. It was. Yeah, it, 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 there was, there's no way it couldn't have been. Um, and that's not unusual. Right. I've seen a fair number of C2s where the doors stand proud. And normally I don't go crazy over that. But in this case, I said, nope, if this thing's going across the stage and we're going to get as much money as we can right. for um, battered women, uh, or, and, and right now we, we're, we're working with both of them to figure out which one we're going to go with. And, and maybe we'll try and figure out a way to, to work with both, um, both of the organizations because uh, I, I, I certainly think they're both very worthy causes. So um, I didn't want this thing displaying as anything less than the absolute best we could possibly right. make it. I mean, we've got this stunningly beautiful body that's in unbelievably good shape. 
And uh, so, so that's what's going on. Now, um, we'll explain what's going on here. Come on, come on around, Ashley, and explain why I've got a, a bit of sort of a charcoal gray rash on the car. Well, go ahead and do, do your work, and, oh. and that way people can see. What, what is it that you're doing there? Um, I'm sanding it down past the, the uh, guide coat so I know if there's any low spots. And if right. there's any low spots, I can fix it. Okay, so give me, so sand it and show me, show me a low spot when you sand it. Because the high spots, obviously they sand away, right? Right. Okay, so stop there. Don't go any further. And now, can you sort of see the little bit of the, the charcoal gray that's left right there? But like, is there any charcoal gray right there? No. So, so that tells me that this has all sanded away. But since it hasn't sanded away, what do we have there? A low spot. A low spot. Now, how low is that low spot? About a mil. About a mil. And, and folks, a mil is one one thousandth of an inch. Do you think new cars are within one mil of perfect? Do you think they are? No. I guarantee you they're not. So the standard we're shooting for on this is higher than even a new exotic car. We're, we are shooting for a standard that would be um, probably in say one half of one mil or less. So, so we're gonna be in probably the five ten thousandths um, in our standard uh, when we finish with this car. And when we get the doors on, are we gonna try and make the doors flush to the body to that same standard? Yep. All right. So. We have some work still left to do. Yes. How many hours could you sand a car for? What do you think? What do you think the stupidest number in the world is that someone has sanded a car? Well, I don't know. It's taken me two days to get this far. Well, just just to, and that's just this is a, we've already blocked it. Right. So this is after it was blocked. I mean, it looked good, and, then we and it, it was again. just yep. we reshot it with high build yep. filler or high build um, primer, primer. Right. Right. So. Folks, I've, I've seen people block cars for 5,000 hours. We've never done one quite that insane, but no. you'll, you'll have, what, what do you think we're gonna have into this paint job by time this car is dialed in with the roof, the paint, um, the cutting, the buffing, uh, just all the paint and body work. Any idea, what, what's your wild guess? Under 1,000 hours. It'll be under a thousand hours, yeah, and, and and so what? What do you think a paint job of a thousand hours would cost? A lot. It's about a hundred <laughs> grand, folks. So we'll be knocking in the arena of a hundred thousand right. um, dollar paint and body work to get this car to this standard. Do you think it's worth that kind of money? Would you ever spend that money? If I had it. If you had it. Yeah. Okay. I don't have it. You I don't, don't have, have it. So, so we're I'm just not... gonna we're not gonna do it, but. Um, so folks, this is, to me, this, this project is exciting, not just because the C2 Corvette is arguably the most beautiful car ever made in the world, and, and that's no insult to Enzo Ferrari and what he created, but I still think the C2 Corvette still edged anything Ferrari built. Um, with the split window top, you gotta give it to uh, Bill Mitchell, um, uh, Zora Duntoff, and why can I never remember there's one more designer? I'm so bad, I gotta give credit to the man and I apologize for not ha Oh, uh, Larry Shinoda, so Larry Shinoda. Those are the, the men that created this artwork that went on wheels. So we have a gorgeous car in gorgeous condition uh, going to a good, um, good to, a, to, a, to a good purpose to help out uh, women and or children or both. Um, and, and so for me, this is just a very exciting project. I'm gonna bring you in on it uh, maybe every week because next week it will look different than this again. It looks quite different than it did last week. And any thoughts uh, saying goodbye to the folks that are watching and are built? Oh, this guy's Peace. full of, all right. So uh, folks, thank you so much for staying with us. And if anybody thinks a color is better for this car than black, and so here's right now where we're going, it's probably gonna be a black car with black and silver wheels. Um, they're of course gonna be wide and high performance. And the interior 
is probably going to go either black and red or black with just red stitching because um, I really love that sort of cool dark effect of a 63. They're just, quite honestly, I think you could paint one with a Hershey bar and it would still look good because they're so beautiful, but we're going to go way beyond the Hershey bar paint job and bring this car to a level that very few cars in the world will ever see. And with that, folks, let me know your thoughts. Thank you.